Welcome to the OSRs podcast, where we talk about RuneScape related content with RuneScape related content creators. I am Mitt Cal, one of your hosts, followed by. What's going on, guys? Reg C here. Yo, hello. Rakase. It's Rakusi. me, Rakusi. Rakusi. Hell yeah. We were going to get parking meter on, um, but me and him did a drinking stream yesterday, and I think the man still passed out of his chair because the Discord call is open, and I joined it, and <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah. not there. So I have some chat for meter, man. <laughs> Mate, you might, you might literally just be in like a fucking puddle of drool right now. He may I never make another okay. video again, dude. It's going to smell. <laughs> he, he was he was like i'm not even drunk let's do another shot and i was really gone and i'm like okay but he didn't sound drunk so i wonder if that's just how he is until he just you know what was i like when we did our drunk stream was like did i sound oh, drunk? belligerent fucking <laughs> <Dude, you> just... <laughs> <laughs> just over just... the top always yeah. wanted attention you're like follow me in the revs boys and i'm like oh fuck god man i don't remember yeah. i still having people come into the chat and reminded me of stuff that i said or did man i'm not even kidding it was it was pretty bad next time we'll have to go a little uh less yeah. hard eh? dude, I uh -huh. dude i spent you know i spent the whole next day being sick inside my bin i woke up at 6 p.m right 6 p.m i woke up puked in my bin twice had a shower, puked all over myself, <laughs> went back to bed till oh my nine, God. woke up, Luckily was sick you were again. In the shower. Mate, it was fucking awful. It was right. I drank a whole bottle of vodka and I didn't I had oh. like I had one can of monster energy to have as like um what do they call a it? Mixer. Yeah. Yeah. Mixer, yeah. Uh, oh mate, it was God. rough. I, I'm never drinking vodka again, mate, I'm telling you. Never. I mean not the whole bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta pace yourself, man. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't actually feel drunk though. That's the thing. It just like hit me out of nowhere. I mean, not out of nowhere, but it hit me, man. It hit me good. It it's like a mellow me. feeling until you get slapped across the face by a Russian drink. It's like, oh, oh shit. The thing is, I didn't actually feel drunk until I was so drunk that I don't remember what happened. Basically, yeah. Mm. Like the thing that you, you told just... me about foe. When I was like, you need to give fucking Mint Mad Cow a chess match. I don't remember none of that. <laughs> Seriously, I don't remember <laughs> any of it. So. Uh, I, I would have destroyed him, all right? I would have destroyed you, Phil. I'm sorry. I love you, but. Yeah, shall we get on? That. Yeah, let's yeah we should probably jump into the Paul KS. Uh, so yeah. I guess we'll start off talking Overview. about the login issues. I believe a lot of people already know what we're talking about, where you can't switch worlds a bunch, or you get logged out for like two to three hours at a time. Rice is an expert on this subject because he's been talking uh, about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't so. know about expert, but like I kind of know how it works and stuff like that. And like, well, we'll like, try to you know, explain it in like the most dumb way possible. All right, so think, think about it this way. Think about it this way. So how? how many times you hop in a short period of time kind of basically determines whether you get kicked out or not right if you hop like every maybe once every like few minutes i don't think it's going to do anything but like if you're constantly hopping like 30 times though in in a span of like a few minutes you're going to get kicked off so and, there's like a time um, period that you can hop safely then yeah, yeah. There's like you know there's like cooldowns right so if you exceed the cooldown that many times in a row it just kicks you out and and uh so, like, people are saying, oh, yeah, if you get kicked off, it's three hours. It's actually variable. It depends on how many times you try to log back in after you get kicked out. So, the more you try to log back in and it fails, the more the time adds to your to your cooldown. So, you can, like, you could theoretically just never be able to log in for a few days. <laughs> you keep spamming it over and over again. So, don't so, do it. What, why yeah, why have they done this? Why, why is Yo, this wait. Thing? Can we get a nice community question? If you guys have experienced this, what's the longest you've been logged out in chat? I want to know. Some poor batch well, is like, been 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I what mean, like, the... it, they. I think they initially did this because the worlds were getting hit off by, like, those uh, people that were, like, duping GP or something like along those lines. Wait, you think this is on purpose? Oh, really? I thought it was just No, well, it, it, that's what they said. It was like something, they were saying, oh, yeah, the, you know, the game worlds are being attacked and stuff. So to mitigate this... Uh, we we uh, do appreciate that the restrictions on world hopping extremely disruptive of many activities, and we hope, we hope to be able to get a less disruptive form of protection as soon as possible. So you yeah, think so this all relates to the the glitch. And if you guys haven't seen this video, it's Rendy. Was it Rendy, right? Who who uncovered it? I believe. Uh, yeah, the thing where people were like, break, you know, crashing worlds to do GP and stuff. Yeah, there was. Well, a I don't know if it's. And they do. I, I don't know exactly if that's bill reason but well no it's it's fun to kind of connect the dots i think yeah could be 
But like Maybe. the wolves were getting hit off though, so they yeah, had to find Yeah, I thought, I, I thought it was to... to do with DDoSers. I don't think it was to do with that, but yeah, yeah, they both DDoS. Well, DDoSing yeah. has something to do with the Duke, yeah. which I believe. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the DDoSing are were happening. We don't know. I mean, I don't exactly know the reason. They they just said it was being attacked. But no, I, I think it's I think it's intriguing though that like yeah. I never connected that piece together. I thought this this is my thing. It's like who has the most to gain from dosing runescape and i put in a couple like maybe a private server right because if you can't play runescape what are you going to play during this time runescapers always play runescape they're going to find a server or another mmo right but that seems unlikely uh but i never thought yeah. maybe it could be the the dupers again maybe they're back at it who knows they could be making bills yeah, yeah. so the wars are getting you know hit off for whatever reason and then they had to implement this to combat it i don't know exactly how that works but whatever anyways so <laughs> there are ways to actually avoid uh you know getting kicked off or resetting it uh, so uh, right now i think going on your phone play on your phone works if you were kicked off on your pc and then vice versa and resetting your router works too. yeah, yeah resetting your router resetting your router as long as your router will dynamically change your ip every time it resets you can probably tell just like going through you know various Places like Google tell you like your IP and a, so. and a VPN, right? Yeah, and a VPN. So yeah, yeah all yeah. those guys with Nord sponsorships, man, <clears throat> not jealous at all. Definitely don't need one for the podcast. Would be great though. We should. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there, there. It's yeah. a perfect time to advertise that. Yo, Rakesy, if you uncover that picture real quick in the box at the bottom, it actually shows, like all the way at the bottom. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. to, man, I've scuffed it a little bit. I'm not oh sure. no! Yeah, we should lock the banner. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so <laughs> that box of bomb says world hopping is currently restricted due to recent attacks on the game world. So we pretty much yeah nailed it right on the head. They restricted their own world hops. I just wish uh, they didn't have that log out thing happening at the end there. That's that's kind of fucked. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, boys, um, as we were kind of discussing before the podcast, Min. Yes, sir. Like you said right. So if you guys aren't aware. Reiku looking very homeless right now. And I don't plan <laughs> on getting rid of any of this, including the rest of this, until Ooh. the end of quarantine. So take a mental note, and I want to see what I look like. Like I don't know how long this is going to be for. It could be for the next six months, right? So, Tom, did you just point to your bottom bush? Yeah, I'm growing everything out, mate. <laughs> oh, Dude, your lady's okay with mate. the, mate, the I'm, monster I'm within? Growing, I'm growing out the hairs on my toes, mate. It's gonna be That's impressive <laughs> and fucking nasty, but very impressive, man. But yeah, I want I want to look back on this podcast in, in like six months and be like, "Holy shit, I was looking clean right now. I feel like a tramp right now." In all and all and I told Rakesy that I will also not be shaving during the corona or anything like that, dude. So I will also be having uh, the hair right and then the beard and then all that. I'll, we'll see what I do down below. I'm not sure if I'm a monster like this man or not. I'll about, leave the nip hairs though. Yeah, what about you, Ree? What are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna grow out? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna shave, but I guess my hair. Will... <laughs> He's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> I, I guess I'll leave my hair. I mean, I'm, I I usually you know have like decently medium length hair. Mate, this is there. a very privileged Mr. Rice Cup. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I've definitely seen the tissues. They're just behind him right now. I, I barely know. use it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not stupid, you know. Like, oh, no, you better some be using are, it for the right thing, mate. Yeah, some people are dumb and they 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 buy a billion things. Like, I I I have this last like a month at least two months. Just just one little box, you know. You just last use, you use one tissue at a time. Yeah, like I don't grab the whole thing. You got a very like, uh, it, petite you know. hole to wipe, right? Right. That's, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Dude, this, this is not toilet paper. That's so nasty. Mate, that's, yeah, that's Jack and paper. Toilet. That is, mate. He uses it for I have toilet paper. So, <laughs> Rice, if you grow out your facial hair, does it kind of do this shit or like? No. <laughs> oh, no dude, amazing, no, dude. I can you see imagine? you kind of do that. Like, it in patches, dude. Yeah. <laughs> isn't isn't the little curl thing neat? Oh man, I, I, that would be lovely. I don't, I don't know. I've never really grown it out to any degree. Dude, grow uh, out, mate. Grow out. I'd rather it would be really dark as well. You got really dark hair, mate. Yeah, pitch black, like like my heart. Okay. He'd be that like one of those uh, weaves. Uh -huh. All right, you know, let's uh, let's move weaves, on. So. Weaves don't have beards. <laughs> He'd be like one of those weaves on the anime with like the after shadow and shit. I can see. Uh, it. I thought you were gonna say weaves don't have hearts. Then no, oh, no, 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 no. They have the biggest hearts of all. Don't you worry, weave audience. They love uh, romance too much. So 
April 1st. It looks like RuneScape does something every April 1st. So head over to the Rev, or sorry, the Pet Ranching dev blog here. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, look at a new skill, baby. They even have a cape for this skill. I think that's the mole pet. Yeah, that's the mole pet. <laughs> Is that the mole pet on the cape? So they have a everything, man. Um, so they always have an April first kind of skill. What was it? Do you guys remember last year what it was? Um, was it it's something to do with like farming, kind of like this? Like, oh, uh, yeah. What was? Oh, yeah. I know exactly what you were. Wasn't it? Like I think it was complete... hurting. Hurting. Maybe, that yeah. was it. That was something. It, yeah. yeah. And isn't this like the exact good, same though. thing? I think this is the same thing, but you can battle your pets. Like if you scroll down, there's like <laughs> it's like Animal Crossing. <laughs> give give it a basically... scroll down. Keep going, Dad. There's a picture I want you to see here. Oh, you'll see it when you get to it. Dude, the cape looks pretty fucking cool, man. I like that. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, keep going down. So wait, this is a skill to battle your pets, basically. <laughs> yeah, keep going down, dude. Breeding, Just reading, mate. It's like Pokemon, literally. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> What is that, bro? Is that the Firebird? Oh, yeah, bro. Phoenix flamethrower, dude. Yeah, it's got a fucking flame coming out of the Phoenix pet, man. Oh, fucking hell. Sometimes you gotta love the J-Mods, bro. Oh, and then you got right-click fly on your heron, in case you wanna... <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's, they they really went hard on this. They didn't yeah, have to they just hard. stuck home chilling. Trolling. <laughs> Dude, I like this. Purple sweets have gone long underused. We'll make it so they grant one level up in any skill. Oh, like a rare candy. Like a rare candy, dude. Pretty much Pokemon everything. I wonder if they had like a surf one too. That's really cool. Dude, surfing on a pet. What what pet would surf? I don't... There's not really a fish pet, huh? Wait, there's a fish in yeah. there. Heron. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, Didn't they bring out... Didn't they bring out like Sweat. some sort of like hunting fishing combination and there was like a big fish you can get? Is it a herbivore? Pet? No, you're talking about the, the big shark? one in, in no, he's talking about the one in Min uh in uh Zaya. Minnows? Not minnows, the one in Zaya. Aerial fishing, I think. Oh. Yeah, it's like hunting and fishing in one and you can get like a big fish, but I don't think it's a pet actually, is it? No, it's like a, you can wield it. Yeah. Uh... I see. Yeah, no, I think Sickner got it during Twisted Leak. He got so Did many he? points for that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so many points for that. I remember that. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, none of this is real. I don't know if you guys want it to be real or not. I yeah, some people, you know, that are not accustomed to to April Fools. Oh man, yeah, the, you already know. Yeah, they, they're like, <laughs> oh wow, dude. I thought it was a, a real for a second there, you know. Like, okay. I, I made an April huh. Fool's video as well, a one-hour Wednesday, but I faked all the kills, you know, on purpose. Dude, I saw and... that, dude. How did it do in the end? Because when I clicked on it, I thought it was really good, but there's a lot of dislikes on it. I was like, man, people yeah, need to like, like cheer up a little bit. I know, right? A it makes me a bit blind. sad because <laughs> I wrote the whole script for that. It took me a while, and it ended up with like, let me check real quick. So the uh, likes were wait, decent. Let me, I'll find it as well, dude. I'll find it as well. So, so it's like 1.1k likes, but 600 dislikes. Like, oh man, I'm a little yeah. sad, but oh well. I, I hope some people enjoyed that shit. Yeah, no, they did. 1.1k extra enjoyed it. Yeah. Imagine if I opened it up and I just had a dislike. On it. <laughs> 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 I'll drop you a like, mate. Yeah, what dude, what's this all about? What if you got 600 dislikes? Yeah, it's just a funny. Uh, they, it's video. like they forgot it's April 1st, dude. Come on. Yeah, it cost me money to make that video too. I had to risk like hundreds of mil deep wildy. Dude, uh -huh. dude, that's literally what I thought when I was watching it. I was like, mate, all those cannons and shit. I was like, fucking hell, that's like just taking that risk yeah, is pretty yeah. ballsy. Yeah, oh, well. kill you, you know? Not part of the plan. <laughs> yeah, me and Meter have fun making it, so fuck it, dude. Uh fuck the it. I guess it's a good Hunter yeah. Return. R return, dude. The trilogy. So I've this heard, is, dude, I've heard, some, the trilogy. I've heard some good things about this and some bad things, but I've not actually read it myself. We're um, going to yeah. be reading every piece. Okay. As, as it's so much work. We'll but... be reacting to the trilogy. Of the you bounty. know why we need another bounty hunter? It's because the wilderness right now has no areas for pures. There's, there's certain areas, but they're fucking dead or clamped. So if you have a pure and you're trying to deep oldie bread, you need a bounty hunter world. In order to at least uh, you know get the one on ones and make some bank, because I swear, if <laughs> twenty minutes to try to find somebody, you just get tag teamed and ripped. And when you have no defense, there's no fighting back against that. You just die, dude. So 
for the pure, this is huge. I swear I haven't pure PK in so long because of that. Uh, all right. So I guess I'll be reading the first part here. Pretty please. Change list. Uh, did they go back and change it and tell us about it? Yeah. Is that what yeah, that is? Because sometimes after. they don't. They, they'll change posts and they won't tell you. So it's kind of nice. All right. Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, they updated that. Remove the blighted shark reward and added the blighted manta ray and blighted anglerfish. Now, we haven't gotten to the blighted word yet, but that's going to be used in a lot of things. And I think they just kind of upgraded sharks from to mantas. Uh, added the following blighted sack rewards, bind, snare, and tangle, and teleblock. So that, if I had to guess, would be probably like a, a teleport pouch, or not a pouch, but like a teleport tab for like a spell. I'm, I'm guessing. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we'll find out. I think we yeah. shouldn't worry about it too. Well, I, I want to. I, I want to make sure that's. That yeah, is, right. we'll just read that's over. That's been a huge then... problem. Um, yeah. Included clarity on the bounty hunter reward items. Added the blighted vest longsword reward. Oh my god. Um, that's not good. Wait, hold uh, on. Is this an April Fools as well? Or is this? I, no, no, no. It's an actual thing. I think oh, they man. got their PVP council. Be like, what? Do, what do all the single clans want in the game? Oh, best of long swords. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's. It, I think that taking that path and that direction with PvP is just the complete and utter wrong way to go. I feel like there's yeah. the foundations need a little readjusting before yeah, they start I just adding in fucking really. Like, I don't know if any of you have played Last Man Standing. Re, I'm assuming you haven't. I know that you I, haven't. You're, hating, now. you're it. hating it now, aren't you? I played on the first day, bro, and I won a game. <laughs> But like, dude, it's un mate, it's unbalanced, isn't it? It's, it's fucked. fucked, dude. If you get Mo fucked, if you get Morgan dude. javelins, VLS, like there's just you've got yeah. such a huge disadvantage if you're against it, mate. It's unbelievable. Like you can just get well, it's is it four specs with a VLS? I think it's twenty five yeah, percent. And you spec. can hit like thirty five to forty through prayer. It's literally so if you're next you can hit to somebody. 40s, it's through prayer as well. It's madness, mate. Like it's just too much. And then you can just whack them like 50s, 55s. And, and that's shit. not even like the best gear either. Like, imagine the best gear behind this. Fuck you. <laughs> right? You're just going to get destroyed. Like, the thing is, I understand why people want that stuff. It's because it was fun and it is fun to use. But it's like, okay, it's fine in Last Man Standing because it's annoying in Last Man Standing. It's fun when you get it. But what balances it out is that when you die, you don't actually lose anything in LMS. Whereas if they're actually talking about putting it into the actual wilderness, that's a whole different ball game. Do you know what I mean? That's like, that just completely changes everything. Like, even if you go out and you're tank, like, I don't know. I don't. It replaces don't like a it. lot of metas too. Yeah, it's, it's like, they're solving a problem that's not there. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're adding a weapon that doesn't need to be, it, there's already high hitting weapons. There's I mean, already balanced shit. So we don't so need. Says, we could be wrong. It's called but... it's called blighted. So there might it might be different from the from the. That's other true. One. That's true. Oh, we're yeah, all, all jumping on. No, I don't think we could assume. We could just read it. Yeah, and let's then we'll let's, read, let's read it before we go crazy. I love go. assuming rice sauce. Um, earlier this year, we had to remove bounty hunter minigame from OSRS. At the time, there was an unacceptable level of rewards being flooded in and farmed. It was pretty easy to farm for money, uh, and even just playing it regularly was more hard than farming it for money you're just better off having a friend because if you go into a hot zone and you're risking what you need to risk it's more than likely you're not going to find your target there and you're probably get ragged out of the circle uh we said that at a time we'd like to restore it in a modified form in a couple of months that's been a couple of months uh and now i guess it's coming into the game uh what doesn't work bounty hunter aim to give rewards for killing assigned targets additional rewards were offered for killing them in particular ways or doing it in a specific zone which was trash <laughs> wait however the same is not always true for a player making it highly risky when you so what, wait, what, what doesn't work what does that mean what do you mean what am i reading then we originally hoped that enough players participating so i think they're just okay they're saying why that so what i just said is what they're saying is why old bounty hunter was fucked so let's scroll down here uh what does the game need from bounty hunter yeah scroll down that huge piece i think they're just talking about why it didn't work Yep, yep. Literally, the title was why it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll be interested in this. Can you read this up? Yes, sir. Old School RuneScape came from an era before the removal of Wilderness PvP in 2008, and thus OSRs didn't have many games that were created in later years to replace it. While there were many things that players did during that time, our aim, as you can see in Gazette, 
is to encourage PvP within the wilderness rather than trying to remove it elsewhere. Bounty Hunter fits into the additional wilderness activity, providing extra reasons for players to encounter each other via recommending targets. So we got features that help find one's target. And last year, use Rewrite. Rewrite? Oh my god, I can't say that word right now. I'm so hungover. Rewrite. We extended the hint arrow to help you find your target. These features were mostly well received, so we're going to have the arrow again. Uh, flexibility for skipping targets. Uh, looks like they enjoyed that. I enjoyed skipping targets too, because sometimes you get those debility ones. Uh, if you got an undesirable target, such as one in multi-way area or one without a skull, uh, I guess they're keeping the same mechanics for that. We got emblems again. Last year's rewrite came with a decision to have players buy emblems for cash and carry them to wildy at risk. Emblems merged or upgraded in various situations, which were super confusing in the last update. Uh, while this may have sounded logical, it wasn't popular, and the emblems as portable wealth achieved a little beyond what could be done, so we'd like to remove it. So they're removing emblems. Hmm. That's huge. That's, uh, okay. So what's going to be the replacement? That's the question. I, oh, what's that? I don't there? Know if all right, keep oh. reading, keep reading, keep reading. All right, yeah, all right, I'm getting, all right. I'm getting into this. So they have tasks. So I think last Bounty Hunter, there was also kind of like a Slayer task where it, like, you'd kill them with mage, range, certain amount of damage. Uh, we added a selection of tasks last year, challenging players to get the last of a certain style, which was kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I enjoyed it, but not a lot. Regrettably, many of the popular suggestions have hinted on a target being in the right place or having the right setup, which would not have worked out in reality. And it's covered <sighs> above. If we just let you skip the target, blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. We'd I like feel to like, keep man, the tasks they... we've got. Dude, they've Rather overcomplicated this so much. It's mad, mm -hmm. man. Do you know, do you it know needs what to be simplified. Hunter... Dude, do you know what Bounty Hunter was originally? It was you, you, were, you were put in a crater and you were targeted against somebody with the same combat. I would level. love the that bounty craters back. I was literally I fucking, what it was. There was, it'd there be was like no... an enhanced PvP world again. Just the the thing is, the trouble with this is like they're mixing like PvP EP system with bounty hunter and outside of a crater. It's just too complicated, man. It's like the basics of bounty hunter is that you're paired against somebody as a target. You can teleport to that person for free fight that person or skip that person that was all it was and that was all the only difference is the fact that it's no longer in the crater yeah like, the, the problem is so like the original the one in this game was mainly the emblems and like it's because you know farmers kept farming it mm -hmm. right but do you, so, know, do you know what's also interesting about that yeah farmers have been in do you know farmers have been farming those emblems for years. Forever. Forever. Yeah. It wasn't happened. until recently when Torvesta and Sir Pugger basically put a magnifying glass on it that Jagex did anything, but I guarantee they fucking knew about it. Yeah. But yeah, still, I I, they're overcomplicating this. It doesn't need to be that complicated. At this point, I would be more than happy with just having Bounty Hunter back in the fucking crater. Honestly, I think they're overcomplicating it. The more that they go down this line of thinking... The more overcomplicated it gets and the less appealing it becomes. At the end of the day, people like basic, simple shit, okay? People, PKers especially, are usually quite lazy and they don't care about most of the game. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience because that's what I huh. used to be like and I still am somewhat like it. Make it fucking yeah. simple, put them in a crater and make them fight each other. Done. I would love bounty Don't do craters. any of this bullshit. This is too much. Yeah, man. I think the emblems kind of, like the whole emblem idea... It's like, oh, to make PvP more profitable, but like it just ended up m making PvP for that aspect annoying because then you have to like deal with uh, farmers Dude, and shit. Let, let me say this. this. Imagine this, right? So take all of this shit that they have right here, including the emblems, okay? Yeah, just get rid of that. Throw it honestly. into a crater. Where the penalty, like, literally the same rules. Think, like, how are people going to be able to take The word craters of is right there, dude. They have something about craters. <clears throat> Read it. Let's go. Yeah. Do you want me to just skip to... Okay, fuck that. Craters. Moving the whole of Bounty Hunter into craters or any new terrain with access restrictions is a very common request. However, as described before, we feel the wilderness would work better. You, How the fuck would you know? You guys don't PK, man. Ah, if we didn't take PvPers out of it. So we intend for Bounty Hunter to remain in the wilderness itself or in a themed world. Some had hoped that the creator, uh, creation of craters would lead to a safe area from a bank of wilderness. We're instead offering to do so. Uh, that was made by the Clan War lobbies into the wild. It's rather than take a bounty hunter at. So they, they see that creators could be a viable option, but they really think that it needs to be in the wilderness. 
that's their whole point. It's like if you're not in the wild, you're not PK. I, mean, I kind of like that, but not. I want creators back more than bounty hunter itself. Let me, right. Let me say this. Right. Okay. So if they make it, okay, just hear me out. If they make it in the wilderness, <laughs> that's fine. Okay. However, what if they just apply the same rules that were were in the original bounty hunter creator? So effectively, if you kill somebody in in a bounty hunter world who's not your target, you're not allowed to leave the wilderness for 180 seconds. Okay. And then if you kill somebody that is your target, you can instantly leave unless you're TB or whatever. That would be fine. I don't see a problem with that at all. But then again, it's still the problem with the fucking farmers and stuff. But like that in itself would be good. Like if they made it like, like that. honestly, if they just get rid of like the emblems and all that crap, then the farmers wouldn't be a thing. To yeah. To be honest. Because what are they going to farm? Yeah, exactly. Because like, <laughs> like, because it's like the whole idea, like I was trying to get at this idea that like the bounty hunter, the fact that they added the emblems because they thought it would make pe more people PK. It ends up actually being a detriment to the people that want to PK because then you mm -hmm. end up getting the goal farmers yeah, like, I, as your target yeah. all the time. And it, and it's like you can't actually fight properly because you are you have to skip like them or whatever. They try to write a lot of these updates to combat the goal farmers, but the last bounty hunter was so ridiculously easy. And I think that was the big problem was you didn't need like a whole farm of people. You just needed three close friends and a hot spot. You didn't need 20 other accounts logged in farming. No, like they yeah. just made it so simple. And that's probably why it had to be shut down. Dude, Ree, right? you make a really well, good it's... point. What what yeah. if what if they did this, right? Like, I think the reason why bounty hunter craters very I guess not very controversial now, but it was back in the day. The reason why it was so busy and active, obviously there were a lot more PKers back then, besides the point. Everybody was forced within a spot. Okay, where it was just very active. It was a small location. The wilderness is very big. So obviously there's going to be less like exactly. constant action. What yeah. if they take away the emblems? They should. They make it so that everybody who goes into a bounty hunter world can freely teleport to their target. Okay, for free. No cost, no runes, no nothing. They can just teleport to them. And like I said, it has the same rules and laws as the bounty hunter creator. Where if you kill somebody who isn't your target, e.g. say you're rushing, and you decide to loot something off the ground of the person you kill, you're then not Can't able leave. to leave the wilderness for 180 seconds. If you log out, when you log back in, you've still got to do the remaining of your time. This I makes me so would, hard. Dude, that would mm, spice yeah. up. That would make that it interesting. Work, yeah. I mean, it would make the convenience of finding targets where you get the unlimited free teleport to target. Um, and there's also a penalty... Basically, I don't think it needs any of this extra stuff. It just needs to be Yeah, yeah. Simple. I don't think... I think the emblems is is honestly what kind of made... Well, look, I'm looking at it from an outside perspective, right? Because, like, you know, all the PKers are, like, thinking about, like, how to make the next buck. But, but like, just just the fact that people abused it and they're not really participating in the PKing it interrupts the whole PKing, like, you know, thing going on, right? The activity... So yeah, it doesn't so the, the fun, reward though. like the emblem stuff like they need to get rid of that honestly they just they don't need extra benefit right because then people just abuse it so the more you have of those the, the more people come to p come to the PvP areas not to PvP but just to kill each other and make a quick buck and doesn't actually contribute to any PK actual mm. PK so dude I think so like they just time. I think they've overcomplicated it. They yeah. tried to please way too many different people, and it should have just—they should have looked at the original bounty hunter and taken the good and left the bad. Because I think, yeah, yeah, because I, I like the timer. The cooldown timer is pretty fair because, yes. like, the whole point is to encourage you to fight the per the person that you're assigned, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to take that like risk of not doing that, then yeah, you should probably wait a solid amount and then have to face the consequences, right? Yeah, I love the idea of a free teleport. You know, be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you were to loot the person you killed and then that timer starts, every monster, you like you couldn't attack monsters. Like you couldn't get aggro. You couldn't box. You have to just straight out tank wherever you are. That's it. You know, just you. That would be fantastic. Oh, my God. Yeah. I would have so much fun in that kind of game mode. I mean, mate, honestly, like it really wouldn't take them very much to do something like that, I don't think. They like, already have like most of that shit. Dude, this right here, which is obviously they don't want to put it back into a crater. 
When I first saw this, I was like, oh no. But now when I think about it, do you know what? I think that if they were to take the basic fundament, fundamentals, does that make sense? Basic fundamentals? Yes, yeah, sir. The basic yes, elements, is. whatever, of the original Bounty Hunter crater, and just apply that to the wilderness with the same rules and laws, basically just in a bigger area, I think that would work fine. So, for example, you kill somebody who's not your target when you're at 44s, you're not able to pull the lever into KBD. For 180 seconds or something like that or maybe it could even be longer because the wilderness far bigger area who knows but um i mean that yeah, would solve issues. Have to adjust the time yeah. yeah i mean like for example it's like that would make it a whole different ball game like if somebody's in the wilderness and bounty hunter and they're rushing with d claws and they kill somebody well guess what if they decide to loot something and they're rushing they can't leave for 180 seconds also in the original bounty hunter creator it meant that they couldn't protect their item as well the alternative is they could teleport out come back and loot the stuff but then again they've still got a tank the 180 seconds like that changes the entire like the entire raw and law yeah 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 and that to me sounds fucking i that think sounds fun like that sounds yeah like, sounds I, very fun. i think fun, i think what you said would uh basically it would make farming pointless because you don't get extra rewards for just killing someone mm -hmm. for like you know you don't get you don't get auto generated gp for just killing some fucking you know Dude with no armor or whatever. So that that's gets gets rid of the whole farming, which is great. And I guess it helps combat like rushing. I, I don't know if people like really yes, like it rushing. Would. It would, it would, and nice. the people that still decide to do it, if they rush uh, somebody, Yeah, I they think still I think the, the only tank. yeah, I think the only thing it wouldn't solve is probably clans. But I don't think it could but ever really the, solve dude, that. The thing so. is, mate, it's like yeah. Clans are just all, like you said. Clans are always going to be a part of the game. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, I'm I, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like objectively saying. I'm not like, saying you shouldn't do it because of it, but like. Whether you love yeah. or hate clans, and trust me, yeah. I feel like a lot of people have a love-hate relationship, including myself. Yeah. It's like, um, do you know what? As somebody who's formerly been in clans, I can tell you this. There is no tighter-knit community and passionate people than yeah. BK in clans. I know that they can be toxic as fuck, but at the same yeah, time, yeah. when I was about, when I used to PK, there were so many clans. It was all clans. If you weren't in a clan... It was like you didn't know how to PK. That's basically what it was. Times have changed. But I'm yep. telling you, clans aren't necessarily a bad thing. I know that they mm -hmm. have been bad, and I know that they can be toxic. No, yeah, they, yeah. No, I'm not, not saying clans are bad. Like no. that. You know, you can't always chuck them in with the yeah. same bunch as everyone else. Like, it's not me saying yeah. they're not out there, but I don't think that's a bad thing. And I think that okay. if you're an experienced solo player, which most people are nowadays, uh, if you've got like a, some sort of penalty to tank because you killed somebody and decided to take their loot, well... I mean, you're just gonna have to fucking tank it again. Yeah, as good. long as they can't, you know, fall in. I mean, I wish the fallen mechanics were a little different. That would probably solve most of it. As long as you can see who's attacking you. I mean, case yeah. closed, right? I mean, on top Maybe. of that as well, we've also got like a really, really nice system in place already, where this would actually make that idea completely like valid. You've got a looting bag, so if you do kill somebody, you don't even have to leave any of your food on the floor and box one of your friends. Like you can just tank it. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, yeah. if you're boxing your friend, guess what? Somebody can tell you to because they're your target and they can start killing you. And you've got Dude, 8 like, seconds to tank. Right when you killed someone and you looted and you couldn't bank, there was just like this huge red skull that appeared like all over the wild. And you could just chase <laughs> people that were doing that. Mate. So you could be like bounty hunters. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. That's actually right? think about the name. Bounty Hunter. The original Bounty Hunter creators made sense because you were actually hunting players that had a bounty on their head the bounty yeah. hunter that we have and the bounty hunter which they have like put in front of us right here this isn't fucking bounty hunter just call this some like shit pvp i don't know yeah. call it something else this is not bounty hunter this is literally the farthest away from bounty hunter it really is there's nothing in this which is about hunting a fucking bounty where it actually makes sense like, it just doesn't. It, There's no point. It's crazy how yeah. we can come up with, like, such insanely fun ideas. And all, you know, comment section, ask us if this is fun. You know, I think this is going to be amazing. If yeah, this sounds great. This sounds and we just sat down for, like, what, better. 20 minutes? And these, these guys are getting paid to make whatever the fuck this whole scroll thing is, you know? But I guess we should probably get into uh, <laughs> the update. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, hold on. Can, we, can I go back to the emblem? So... So they, they, they didn't they didn't say they were gonna get rid of it, right? Um, yeah, they did. Yeah, they they did. said we'd like to remove that using emblems well like the previous version. Oh shit, you're right. I let I missed that whole last one here. 
So they want to use emblems like the last bounty hunter. They should, okay. yeah, which is, I feel like, no, they should just get rid of that, to be honest with you. <laughs> the um, topic of rewards is double-edged while not being short of suggestions. We've seen the latest couple valuables, blah, blah, blah. It's inevitably faster to kill players who are cooperating rather than players who are fighting back properly. So this bounty hunter will not be a significant source of wealth for its participants. Right. What Dude. flying ball sack is this? If I remember, if I remember correctly, yeah, and I'm not 100% sure on this, so don't quote me, but in the original Bounty Hunter crater, there was no fucking reward outside of the person that you yeah, killed there and you wasn't. their shit, okay? But listen, I think that there was, I'm not sure if it was Bounty Hunter crater, but I think there was actually a reward system for it, but it was yeah, like you had I to remember... kill 100 players in order to get yeah. like something tiny. Do you Yo, know what I mean? Like, Rixie, it wasn't I remember you can get like the Berserker spike shield or whatever from it, right? <laughs> the thing? No, no, no. That was, dude. That was the fist of Guffix, mate. Yeah, we but I think, you could get, I think you could get from both, though. I, I think that's what we're missing in the wild boys. Rune Berserker shields. That's yeah, I think it came from. That's two... the missing piece, baby. That's all dude, we I, need. I think. I think it came from two different places. Yeah, it did. It came. It came from the. You could get it as an EP drop from the PvP worlds, and it was, was also it? From, yeah. And it was from no, Fist of no, Guffings. Okay. It was a reward right, from bad. Fist of Guff And same for the Battle Mage robes, which were also a really cool feature for what they were. But yeah, they saved came runes, from they, PvP. Right? Ah, yeah. they, they didn't come from the creator, actually. So what you did know, it, what did the creator give? Because I remember so, I used to do creator. I remember I used to do creator to split Gawars drops because you couldn't trade your boys. Yeah, yeah so... And, and I didn't remember getting anything. So I think, if I remember correctly, and like I said, I'm not 100% on this, I think it was something like if you got 50 kills in Bounty Hunter Crater, you got like 5 mil GP. And if you got 100, you got like 10 mil. It wasn't anything like huge at all. Bear in mind, these were very different times to what we're in right now with money and such. And it doesn't seem worth it at all. But um, I, I think that's correct. I think it was literally like 100 kills for 10 mil cash. Which back then, that was considered a fucking shit ton. But I don't know if you'll be able to find it anywhere. Like, I'm looking, but I'm not even on, yeah. like, the right kind we of We just need this reward, man. Hold on, hold on. I'm on the old page. Oh, yeah, okay. That's the newer uh, page, isn't it? That's yeah. the old one. It doesn't say anything about rewards, though. I, I might be wrong. It might, it might have been another kind of PvP minigame. I just, I don't know why. Yeah. It's just in my head. I don't know if it is. Yeah, I just didn't. Yeah, there was nothing about, like, anything about, like, rewards, to be honest. Dude, we need the black DI shield, Berserker shield. All right, that's what we need. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so it wasn't in the mills. It was um. What was it? Uh, as of February. Do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I have to. I have to go to the original RuneScape wiki all the way. Yeah. Yeah. I can't all right. So I'll, I'll read. I'll read to you what it says. As of 19 February 2008, bounty reward was available to all hunters who had killed at least 10 players in the mini game. The rewards were categorized depending on which entrance you entered to kill your bounty. Low level area up to forty thousand coins, uh, mid level area up to eighty thousand coins, high level area up to one hundred twenty thousand coins. So as you can see, the co the values were very very low. So, I'll be fine with that. Yeah, boys. The next yeah. it was like part nothing. of this. Like, look at that. Yeah, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Is that saying ten kills in the low in the low crater got you forty kgp? Is that uh, what this is saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. Depending right. on which entrance you you went from. Because yeah. I, oh yeah, I remember the entrances. It was the low level, mid level, and the high level entrance. I, I thought those, those were like combat brackets, no? Yeah, yeah. So like you would go into either of those according to your uh, combat level. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. dude, there's so they much. They're, like, yeah. honest to God, like they could fix so many problems with Bounty Hunter if they just took this shit right here. Look, death. If you died in Bounty Hunter, you lost everything unless you protected item. E.g., Think about the one people item. that, for, yeah, one itemers and three no, itemers, Rixie. four itemers, done. Easy. They, they get into this at the bottom of the forms, actually. Yeah. Um, okay. So Ooh, if good. we go down here, first I'll get but, into... But, uh, like, just, we'll just... Just, just to reflect on that a second, like, we're talking about giving an emblem, which is worth, what, 100, 100, 100 to 150k per kill, right? And, and, and old... it can go up to, like, uh, 7 mil or something, right? Yeah. And in the old bounty it's hunter... Ridiculous. Yeah. In the old Bounty Hunter, if you got 10 kills and you were in the high tier crater, you got 120k. That was your fucking reward. Okay? Because it wasn't... <laughs> there, there didn't need to be a reward. Yeah. It was just like a nice little bonus on top. It wasn't like the main fuck... Like, it was an extra couple crumbs. It wasn't the entire pie. Do you know what I mean? Like, that was the difference. Yeah, it was one slice of the pie, if anything. Now you guys make me hungry, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Right, let's actually have a look. How can we bring Mountain Hunter back? Yes, let's yes, see what they sir. So imagine, firstly, imagine we'll discontinue. Right now, I'd be like, oh my. Dude, they yeah, kind of do. Great. We'll discontinue <laughs> right, the current mystery emblem. Those are the items you buy for cash and exchange back into cash. So those are gone. You'll still be able to exchange your existing mystery emblems for cash, uh, but the archaic emblems will once again be given to the player's uh, playing activity. All right, see below. Oh wait. Oh, that's not a clickable thing. Whatever. All players in the wilderness on the bounty world will be marked with a PK skull throughout their entire time there. Good. This removes the need for rules that let you skip a target who isn't skulled, as everyone will be skulled. The standard ah, PK yeah. skull graphic will be blah, blah, blah. The minigame will continue assigning targets to players on the side bounty world. Eligible players must have a combat of 30. They must have 20, 20 quest points, 40 hours logged in. This is all to combat botting. Uh, all to make it harder for disposable farming accounts to get in, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a player will not be assigned a target unless they are carrying an emblem or 20,000 GP coins or just anything that has that amount. But, uh, restriction wait, player. Wait, wait, wait. I have an instant no, no. problem with that 20k coins. Yeah, the, em the, emblem. the emblem. Yeah, it is a bit low, eh? Like, who the really fuck low. can PK in 20k gear? Oh, that's the Mate, inventory of food. This that's is 2020. Crazy. That should literally be 100k. It was 76k back like 10 years ago with the EP system. I remember it that. 100k. Yeah, I remember it should 76K. be 100k. It should just straight it up should... be 100k, or otherwise you're considered a ragger. I feel like that yeah. would actually that would make a lot of people happy if you knew when you killed somebody in Bounty Hunter, you were gonna get at least 100k worth of gear. You know. Everyone who made those like G Mall rushing accounts that literally risk like five K are like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Horrible. Uh let's see. Hotspots will continue. Uh to what be does... marked. What? Okay. This is across so, the wild, moving well, we... to a 20 minute rota rather than 30. They'll focus on single way areas. Fucking gross. Hotspots were gross then, and, and they're gross now. Ugh. Oh, they they just, just they've just overcomplicated this, man. Yeah, we don't need hotspots. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, whatever, dude. It's going to literally be like Bounty Hunter 2 just, just again. Put, just put oh, this. Same shit. Just put the wilderness inside a crater. Done. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, put, like, walls around the whole while, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> I, they have yeah, a, they're overcomplicated this man i swear to god they call it the wilderness crater <laughs> there we is, go i'll be dead the more they <laughs> overcomplicate it the more there is space for it to fuck up okay you know how hard it was that. to kill people in a hot zone though at the very whenever they ran out of food like even if it was just half of their food they'd run immediately outside of the hot spot people aren't gonna stay there and let you kill them <laughs> they're not gonna just chill they, yeah, you no, fucking they... run, they'll rag your ass so you don't get extra points. It happens every goddamn time, dude. Why are they trying to base this on hotspots again? Yeah, they need Players that. aren't that friendly. They'll they'll literally just be like, no, fuck you, and they just walk out of the hotspot. Yeah, exactly. It's not about honor, bro. The wilderness isn't like something yeah, I don't blame them. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so saying they, they shouldn't base that. it on it's so garbage. Yeah, no, no, it's bad. I think that's stupid. I'm yeah, very sure. fucking sad that it's based on hotspots again. Um Tasks will also be on a 20 minute row, a router, rota. Uh, so you get another task again, but they'll, they'll switch every 20 minutes to 30. Emblems like the original archaic emblems, 1 through 10, may once again be given as a loot from defeated targets. Similarly, for a target kill, an emblem from the killer's inventory may be upgraded too. So old Yo, emblem I, mechanics. Old emblem crap, dude. It's like, I wonder if they're going to drop from the monsters on a bounty in a world too. I don't know if they get into that, but they used to drop from like. Uh, the bosses, every yeah. yeah every boss on a bounty world i think it's a one in three drop the combat yeah. level of the defeated target higher level targets will more likely be given likely to give a reward okay Mate, the best i am MVP so here. literally just not interested in any of this bullshit They've for real like... it's fucking annoying <laughs> I don't, I'm really, emblem. really not interested about any of this. I literally carried don't care. Carried by a PKer, carrying a high tier <laughs> emblem will increase the chance of receiving a reward. What? If the kill took place in an active hotspot, though, it will increase the chance of. You're literally just letting people fucking right. break the game again by doing this, too. Like, Dude, it doesn't... listen, the thing is, right, Jagex needs to realize, okay, and I don't mean to sound condescending, but this is pretty simple. Okay. It's not about emblems. It's not about throwing fucking rewards at people. It's not about giving people so much GP per hour. It's not about blighting bind sacks or snares. Okay? <laughs> it's like, make the game itself fundamentally fun. Once you have that, 
everything else comes together and it's like you had something which was fun you can very easily implement what was fun from that into this but for some reason yeah, you guys are like easily. blindsided by all of these retards that are like give us the karathi and the violet and we'll be happy it's like just fucking <laughs> just make it fundamentally fun by doing Do what works karate? it's so stupid man i literally don't want to read anything about blighted manta rays and anglerfish oh, this is the most oh i'm like, excited this, the, i am so excited about that part it's the only part i'm excited right. for the rewards yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Wild, let's, let's have a look at the rewards i mean the rewards are still important well, but let's, let's, see. Almost, let's see what's up i'm almost done here to keep Kill completes a task. This one greatly increased the chance of a reward uh, every 20 minutes. To avoid previous abuse returning, a slight cooldown will apply as rewards are gained, capping the rate which players receive these rewards. So they're capped. Rakesy, when this update hits, let's try to find a way to break this day one. You down? Man, I think I'm. <laughs> man, I think I'm actually. Do you know what? I made a video a while back saying about PvP. I think I'm genuinely just going to make a, a response video to this. Because this can I join it? Can I be shit. on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys if you go on and stand next shit. to me on the camera, mate, then sure thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll be like this, yeah. <laughs> Yo, put on your suit, you know, it's time to I get put my suit on. the fucking chat, lads. You, Rakesy, it's do you time. have a suit? We could wear our suits. Yeah, I do have yeah, a suit, Yeah, we can mate. dress up. This would be sweet. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, honestly, bring like Torvesta or something, and then you can get the ball rolling. <laughs> yeah, I'll true. just put a wig on. I'll just... Fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be honest with you, I don't, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, but this this is the only part. Drive, so. Yeah. After this, looks... we can quickly go over what was good and what was bad. That's, this is yeah. the only part that looks exciting to me because yeah. I've been wanting what I think this is. But let me just read it. So the dropped emblems can be traded. The emblem trader for points is what you can buy. The light. They all have the word blighted in front of them. I guess they wanted to make it. Well, that it's only. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a different. Uh, where the fuck is that going to fit in my bank? All right. I, <laughs> I can't fit this shit in my bank, man. Blighted Manta Ray, huh. a food item that heals 22 health but can only be eaten in the Cursed Lands. Angler, same shit. Blighted Ice Barrage Sack, a sack that supplies the runes required for casting Ice Barrage, but only in the Cursed Lands of the Wild. We'd be able to give considered more blighted items, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, it's a rune pouch, but you can have multiple of these sacks. Yeah, it's so specific. Because... Yeah. They also have some for the ones below. So we got Blighted Bind, Sack, Snare, Entangle, and Teleblock. Entangle and Teleblock are the ones that I've been wanting for a while. Because if you PK of normal spell books, you need Death Rune, Law Rune, uh, Chaos Rune. Then you need yeah. Nature Rune. And then even if you get a Mixed Rune, that's still a Rune slot on top of that. Even a Mixed yeah, Rune you, on top of that. You, you don't even have like, attacking spells. Yeah, you don't three, have spe fucking, three spaces or something. You don't have Wrath Runes, right? So now you got to get Wrath Runes. That's one third of your inventory with just Runes. That's bullshit. So this is going to help bring that down. Only be used on PvP, or sorry, uh, the Wilderness, but I'm excited fun. for that. I I'm think excited. that's good. I think that's yeah. cool. A looting bag promissory note, an item that could be exchanged for a looting bag by taking it to a bank, provided the player doesn't already have a looting bag. So I'm guessing you could like stack these and then get multiple. But they don't want you to have multiple looting bags because then you can put a looting bag in a looting yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah. You can just quickly, yeah, you can just quickly get another one ready to go. I guess. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, and then the blighted Vesta longsword, like the one introduced in 2006, this untradeable weapon will degrade to nothing. Uh, it cannot be repaired. Additionally, though, a special attack will drain the longsword of 100 charges. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's overpowered, but apparently you're not going to be using it for too long. Um, I mean, Still think garbage. about that. A hundred charges. You're ah. only really going to use it for the spec. A hundred charges. You use ten. You've done a thousand. A hundred is ten thousand. So you've got a thousand specs for the VLS before it disappears. Um, they can, seems like honestly, quite a lot. Yeah. Oh shit! You're right. That's still. I feel like fuck ton of time. Like, the... have you ever lost a tent whip from using it too much in the wild? I always lose them before they degrade. <laughs> yeah. That's a thousand yeah. VLS specs, mate. The old VLS lasted for 30 minutes when in combat. It certainly wasn't a thousand specs, I can tell you Fucking that. Fucking wild, dude. Oh. Yeah, dude. Uh, yo, it, like, four specs, though. They could lower the number of specs, you know? Well, just they haven't the suggested away. it. Man. Just make it like uh, a hard-hitting whip. I'll be fine. Like, it, should be like, it should be like 50%, you know? If the god sword is 50%, like, they need to make that shit at least 50%. What about yeah, like 55%, should, should be 50. like the baller? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, you know? Because right. it's faster than the AGS. It's faster than the back AGS. It's faster yeah, than the AGS, fine. and it's also one-handed, so you get an Avernic with it or a Defender, right? Yeah, yeah the, exactly. the normal hits scare me a lot, too. I feel like 
You should have one of those. Yeah, high the, hitting the spec, spec or is super high hitting normal hit. Yeah. yeah. It should have like, both, though. It should be 50% then. Because then you only do twice, and then you you can't use it for a while. So I'd rather just have it deleted. Yeah, know. yeah, I just not have it. <laughs> I guess that it I'd is be okay really with the Stadius Warhammer because the Stadius Warhammer sucks fat ass. Bring that in the game anytime you want. That thing sucks, dick. I'm down with that. It's like a nice troll spy weapon that can still get killed sometimes. Yeah, it's like every like ten hits, it might one hit you, but most of the time it's trash because all crush weapons are trash on on PvP. Uh, especially at Elder. Okay, the bounty crate and dec decorative emblems would be discontinued or moved from the shop. We keep the blah, 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 blah. Cool, because then I'll have a rare item in my bank because I haven't opened up my crates yet. <laughs> I just got a couple in there. Uh, yeah, that looks that like... Uh, we went through Yo, that whole thing, we, man. Holy can we shit. quickly summarize what you, th what you guys liked and what you guys didn't like? Uh, it's based on Hot Zone, so it's shit, in my opinion. <laughs> hot Zone should not be a thing. Uh, I don't really mind, I guess, having emblems there, but they're not needed like we talked about. I don't mind them. I'd much rather have the old ones than the new ones, though. So, yeah, kind of nice. <clears throat> the Roar Shop needs a lot more, and it does not need a VLS. That is also shit. Mm. I'd much rather have Rexy's idea, but I am excited for the fucking uh, Teleblock tab. Dude, I'm going to be doing a lot more normal spellbook PK once this hits. So that's that's the big thing for me. The blighted sacks. And also, question about the sacks. Do you have to be, does it say you have to be on that spell book, right? Still? That could be a game changer, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could be on ages yeah. and just chuck a TV at somebody. I yeah, I'm assuming you, I'm assuming you have to be on the same spell book. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a rune. Okay, so, so if you don't, it, it doesn't have the spell. It's just a rune that lets okay, you. Okay, 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 good. Because yeah. I'm like. I'll be honest, man. I think that there's some really, really creative ideas there. And I think that some of these ideas are really good. However, I think that we are getting way ahead of ourselves, and I think that there is no amount of rewards, items that we can throw into Bounty Hunter, and it's going to fix it. I think, yeah. like I said, going back to it, it's like if the actual content itself is fundamentally fun, addictive, rapid, whatever you want to call it, okay, then you can do this stuff. Yeah. But until that happens... I no, I totally zoned out, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I just, so... I think they've gone around. I think they've done this in the wrong order. I yeah, think same. I I agree with you, Rixie, because you know what I I realized thinking about this now is that all the you know fundamentally good ideas has already existed since long ago. Yeah, you, you don't need to fund. You don't need to change what no. wasn't. That's broken. the whole basis of old school, right? Bring back old school. If it's not broken, don't fix they, it. Yeah, exactly. Like I feel like I feel like it, it's funny because the whole emblems wasn't old stuff. That's new concept mm. that turned out bad. And, because... and in order for them to try to fix, they were trying to fix something they created. They didn't actually yep. for fixing something Dude. that they brought back from the old times. This right here highlights exactly what is currently wrong with the old school RuneScape team. Okay, and I'll read it. It says, they wanna... while yeah. it's not the recreation of the two, 2008 creators that some of you had hoped for, they even know we want it. this will add some variety to the actual wilderness. So what this is, you know, you've got to look yeah. a little bit between the lines on this. It's the not what they've the said. Face. It's the fact that they are thinking and considering yeah, way they're too implying, much. Yeah. They're thinking way too much about pleasing fucking everybody. You know it's what's okay. It's so, so stupid. They need yeah. to just go with what works. Fuck what people say. Like at the end of the day, I see it like this, and I've always said this: do your own fucking thing, Jagex. If you know something's yeah. going to be good and you can put your time into it, Bounty Hunter has been proven to work in a certain way. It will work, right? And that even way, if the community yeah. and there's always the trolls that be like, "No, nope, don't do that. We don't want it." Blah blah blah. Well, guess okay. what? If it goes yeah. into the game and it's actually good. Then shut them down with actual action instead of just words and being like, "We're sorry that it's not what you wanted." Fuck that shit. You guys are like you're 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 having a fight when you don't need to have a fight. Just do it. Yeah, it's silly. Okay, so so what Jagus needs to do is instead of trying to create their own version of something, they should try to they should try to um, I guess make better of something that existed in the past. Yes. But they're not yeah, doing they're that. Really they are not doing that. They're just trying to recreate their own version of something like, that yeah, happened already. Shield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, because... I understand that Jagex are in like the impossible position because they're trying to please everybody. But yeah. you take yourself out of that position and you guys just do what you know works and do right by the game. I mean, I can't. All right, think about this way, right? Let's let's look at it this way. 
what were the issues of bounty hunter creator and first is what were the issues of this one right? right because i feel like i feel like the bounty hunter creator had less problems than there the wasn't an issue now. during the creator the only thing is they were trying to fight gold selling at the time and people yeah. were still able to do it on the creators even though they removed free mm. trade so that's the, the reason yeah. why they got rid of it the main it wasn't problem, really a problem the main problem with bounty hunter do you, do you actually know what it was okay do you actually want to know like to a t what was wrong with bounty hunter Okay. The old one. It was the yeah. fact that it went from you could PK anywhere in the wilderness to now you can only PK in this tiny crater. That was the problem. That's Where, true. That's but literally now it's what not it was. Problem. But now that's it's oh, and the, and the baiting, the huh? Thing. The luring was a problem too. That was ba about it though. The what, was, the what was? People, there was like this crazy like lure that you would do in the middle of the caves, and it's like I, it gets it so everyone can attack yeah. you. Well, that, that was and part. Was, uh, that was part of the fact that it was the only place to PK. That was pretty much what Bounty Hunter Creator was, yeah. and yeah. it just was yeah. what it was. Like you could decide, you could basically be like on the outskirts and be like a debower, or you could just be a single bro on the outskirts. Yeah, or like I said, if it came in today, in the middle. But like I'd the, be down yeah. for all that, the, but, the, the mm -hmm. main problem with Bounty Hunter back in the day was we went from having the whole wilderness to PK and from Edgeville to Magebank, and then we were just put into a tiny crater. Whereas, like, it if that tiny crater to... existed now, we still have also, PvP worlds in the rest of the wilderness and other worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, was Bounty Hunter Crater in multiple worlds back then, or was it just um, one? No, it was. It was over a. F I think it was only over a few worlds. I think there was a few specific worlds that were like okay, maybe so, three or four. Yeah. I see. Yeah, there weren't like loads and loads, but as you can imagine. They yeah. forced all of the PvP community literally all into one spot. So it was yeah. hopping. Like, everybody was there. But, um, yeah, I think, yeah. dude, I think that with all this, I think that Jagex, uh, I think yeah, they're, they're going to go like, around um, in circles if yeah. they constantly come up with this bullshit, which is basically all of this stuff yeah. here to me is just screaming of we're insecure and we don't know what to do, therefore we're listening to everybody and trying to please everyone. Just stop. Just put some good shit in there that works, and then you can add this shit in. Just get the fundamental basics yeah. of it right, yeah. and then you can yeah. add as many VLSs and shitty stuff as you like. Yeah. I don't care. But I'm not playing it until this gets fixed, because this, mate, I literally... W tell me right now, why does it matter whether you get a reward <laughs> of a fucking Iron blighted man. manta ray? Or a blighted anglerfish. Please, please, please explain it to me. When you can go and kill Vorkath and Zora and every fucking monster in the game that drops like a million of these. Why? Yeah. Oh, you know why? why? They matter? had the word blighted on top. It doesn't yeah. matter, really, so, but I think they just don't want uh, to add so, to So the, let's um, let's have our own, economy. like, let's have our own, like, I, um overall idea of Bounty Hunter. So it should be, it should be the entire wilderness, right? Like you said. You guys... I'm, I'm happy for that, mate, yeah. I, and I also, there... Also, you get a free telly to your target, right? Mm-hmm. Unlimited, uh, unlimited. How about no emblem? How about no emblems? No, you wouldn't need it. No, no emblem at all. No, it no, would basically... No, no. The, the the way that I would see it is you would basically yeah. recreate the atmosphere and the way the Bounty Hunter crater was, which was yeah. a genuine Bounty Hunter. You were either hunting somebody or you were being hunted, okay? That was what made it special. Like, that was it in a nutshell. It was like... It, it wasn't like you went into the wilderness, you killed your target, you don't kill your target. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because you just telly out scot-free. It was a case of yeah. when you went into that crater, there was mm -hmm. no fucking tellying out. If you killed somebody and they weren't your target, you lost your protect item privilege. Yeah. And if you took something, you were unable to leave for three minutes. Yeah, so so we keep the time penalty for, you know, killing on scot the, the I mean, non-target. And and what what about the whole, like, if you kill 10 of your targets, you get money? Would that yeah. still be okay? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Like, I mean, like you know, yeah. like the 100k to 40k. Yeah, I mean, they should, they should come I mean, out listen, with the crate again, dude. Every dude, time it's just, it's just crate, the problem with the around. emblems. The original emblems, like you could get it up to like uh, tier 10, which was like five mil, right, or something. Dude, but it was like crazy. It was a lot, right? Yeah, five I mil. Think... Yeah, it was a lot. But listen, five mil points. Yeah. The, the yeah. thing is to remember, like with the farming thing, the reason the farming works is because if somebody gets a load of level 35s and they're the only level 35s in the bounty hunter, they get each other's targets over and over again. So if it mm. was to be a case of for every 10 bounty hunter kills, you get like this amount of money, whatever, that would still be farmed and abused. 
But yeah, so we don't need that at all. Then we can just say fuck that. I wouldn't say yeah. I wouldn't say that we need it necessarily. Yeah, to yeah. be completely if honest, it, like in case the whole wild, you know what I'd be down with is like having a PVM aspect where if you kill like a monster on that world, you have a chance of hitting a drop table that has some of these rewards. Like say you get like a you know an entangled sack or I don't know. I'd be down for that because then and then if you pick that item up, maybe uh, you got a tank for a bit. You know, and it makes it a whole like rat and mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, about, yeah. what about this? This is just a random one, right? This whole yeah. blight invest a longsword. What if once you got, say, a hundred bounty hunter kills or whatever, you could go and get yourself one of these? Okay, and it was. I don't untradeable. know. People farm, and it kills. was just bounty hunter was more or less just going to be fucking fun. And then obviously, when you got this item, the better gear you had, the longer you're going to keep it and survive. I don't know. I just, I feel like I like the, the phones... rewards for kills, but. I remember what was that guy's name? His, he had like a Jared or or something, and he was like top ranked BH kills. And I go to Edgeville, and, and he's, he's like, just teleporting like his name, but with Junior on the name of it. <laughs> like all, it's just his yeah, name, and yeah, Junior, yeah. and he's just yeah. farming his own account. Yeah, so, I feel like the prestige rewards are nowadays are just overly uh, farmed, so they they probably don't need that anymore. He's yeah. still rank one too. Like they don't even. It's yeah. so obvious he's farming his own self for rake. Like, could you imagine if that came out? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I guess that's not a good idea. I guess the whole idea of like getting extra rewards for hitting a certain kill milestone, like that is tradable, is not good. Yeah, dude, I they, guess they could. Yeah. Do, they could do. Yeah, like, just don't so need that. They could do so much with PvP. They can do like cosmetics, just... I guess. Yeah, that's not risk. Like the reward stuff isn't too important. I think it's just more the fact of making it interesting for people to go and do it for fun. Yeah. You know, like, a fun right. way to go about killing people. Here, here's a hypothetical for you. It doesn't have to be bounty hunter. It could be a completely different mini game. But let's let's go with the idea that this is some form of bounty hunter or like a mix between dungeoner and bounty hunter. You've got a PvP mini game. The people that you kill within that mini game, you get rewarded with points, okay? And you not on, on top of getting the points, you also are rewarded with whatever items they had, okay? Yep, and let's that is say, a reward. Yep. Let's say that down the line with those points, you can buy different sorts of armor, okay? And maybe you get to save certain parts of that armor set. And what if after you've had like 10,000 kills, you can be there in like the full fucking Vestas or whatever the fuck it is. And it's more or less a count bound, but you'll lose everything else. Like they could do so many fun things, like something like that, yeah. which has like a sense of progression for PKers. And it's like, mm -hmm. it would be fun, profitable, and you get to be a fucking badass. Like there's so much they could do, but they're too fucking busy worrying about what other people are fucking worrying about. It's stupid. It's silly. Yeah, like yeah. It this, just can't be monetary, man. Like I think that's rate, the biggest problem is the monetary rewards. At this rate, I think that RuneScape's gonna be fucking dead before anything happens to PvP, in all honesty, if they keep going down this road, which is we're so concerned about what everybody wants, we're trying to please everybody. Just fucking do what you think is right. If it's wrong, go back on it, okay? It's like if you put something into the game which is terrible and people hate it, tweak it, or if it's actually that bad, remove it start again whatever but trying to do this and trying to go forward by trying to please everybody i'm sorry it's just never gonna work and the game is gonna be dead before yeah, anything agree. is done literally mm -hmm. nothing will be done it's so stupid man yeah, yeah 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 tell my viewers and they come in they're like oh are you ready for that update or this update i'm like we're more likely gonna see runescape die than get a good pvp update <laughs> like yeah it's more of a chance that the game will dry out and we get something fun to do that'll last for a long time. Yeah. Well, the clock yeah. is ticking. It's like they need to really look at their game and think. Like when I made that video a few months ago, which was called "Is PvP Worth Saving?" Like I'm not saying this is going to be an easy task at all, and it is a genuine question: Is PvP even worth saving when there's only five percent of the player base actually do PvP? Is it genuinely worth saving? Do we say fuck you to that five percent and just continue down the Iron Man and PVM route, which? seems to be very successful and people are very happy with like myself and re well but, the question know, is is it only five percent of people or is it because it, the game is so shit based on pvp that only five percent of people can oh, even deal with that dude it's definitely got down to five percent i'd assume because right. the lack of pvp attention that's been given but they did state as well that five to ten percent of a player base for any mmo is about right for the pvp community which well, is runescape's pvp versus any other pvp games is so much more 
than World of Warcraft where you duel somebody, but they don't have full item drops, right? RuneScape, that's the whole reason I started getting into it. Because yeah. it was such a new PvP method for yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes it unique. Exactly. So it's like, no wonder there's only 5 or 10% people playing because you don't fucking update that shit. That's the whole reason. If the RuneScape PvP was uh, better taken care of, then you might ha- see a bigger portion of the uh, RuneScape audience actually PK, right? Other than just PVMing. Because I'm sure a lot of people are like, I don't want to farm bandos again. I don't want to log in. I get that question all the time. What should I do when I play RuneScape? It's like, bro, yeah. it's a game. Do what you want. It's like, I don't know what to do. Uh, I, guess the, <laughs> I guess they really... I guess the biggest thing, I guess, is the the emblems are a little controversial whether to remove it or not. But I feel the hotspots probably should just be removed straight up. Yeah, just get rid of that. Can and we make a, a and also the to free telly yeah, out of the game. Just yeah, get rid of hotspots. Uh, free telly to your target. If you kill your target, that's not. But you don't kill your you know your non target, then you have to wait three minutes before you can get out. I mean, right. yeah, it could be even longer than three minutes, considering now we have, like, the bulwark, uh, we have the looting bag, etc. Bear in mind, in the old BH craters, you can have a looting bag. The loot that you took, took up inventory spots. So, it could be longer yeah. than three minutes, or it could still be okay. three minutes, whatever. But I feel like... I think completely doubt with it, needed. as long as they're... I feel, they what about... Like a... Sorry, go for it. How, what about the timers based on the reward? or something that it you, could you, be you yeah say, it could it could you know? be like if you kill somebody for over like a mil risk or five mil or ten mil the uh timer is extended because then like you will dude my can man i'm sorry about that <laughs> dude i'm like blurry as fuck so like if you kill somebody for a hundred mil you gotta tank like a bitch to be able to get it out there because you pg yeah, someone like, for a hundred mil that could work yeah like 10 minutes or something right like, i mean i don't know the thing is we've been in the meta for a very long time of basically spec and tab more or less like that's been a thing for ages that's risk fighting in a nutshell that's a lot of hybrid in a nutshell unless you're deep will it's dead man mode pk in a nutshell exactly 45 still because happens it requires literally no risk and pretty much all reward you just get away with it and it's a cowardly way of fighting but it works it's effective so having some form of you know different out of worldly like you know even if they were to make it so like when you enter the bounty hunter wilderness on a bounty hunter world that you can't actually tally out like imagine how much of a game changer that would be like something as small as that and how much of an impact that would have on the actual game itself like something of that small being like you cannot teleport unless you're on the other side of the oh beach. yeah no that would yeah. help a lot i would definitely that'd be dope that'd be my yeah. favorite shit because i hate tele blocking people Half the time yeah. it splashes, and they're in full rune. I'm in the best gear. Yeah, exactly. I lose gotta... my shit. That's the I thing. hate it. So, like, dude, think of like dead man mode, mate. Why, why was dead man mode so successful? Because, in my opinion, it wasn't just. There was a lot of things that were good about dead man mode. Okay, it made a lot the, of things the PvP that made it interesting. But like, fun, right? It, when you got to it, there, there was a lot to it where it's like, for example, it just had a different set of rules to any kind of risky pvp that we have ever had and like the first noticeable thing is like if somebody's attacking you you can't just fucking telly out and dip like you gotta deal with that problem do you know what i mean it's like that I actually in itself that is a idea. huge change remember when i was talking about like certain spots in the wild having these 10 second logout timers right like if you enter say the laren's chest boat mm-hmm. as soon as you go onto the boat you cannot log out right you have to wait 10 seconds Something like that. Some of these hot spotted areas just in regular wilderness could be better if you just couldn't get away right away. There's got to be a little bit of struggle before you get out. And uh, that mechanic on Demon Mode personally made it so much more fun to play it because you could, like, you know, sneak up on somebody and DDS rush them. And by the time they reacted, they couldn't go anywhere. You know, they're dead. They couldn't teleport out. These mechanics aren't seen in the wild, sadly. I would love to see those kind of mechanics in Demon Mode in the wilderness. In in the yeah. bounty hunter, you know, bounty hunter worlds, right? I'd be down with every world. I've had this right. idea for a while where they had this But at least area. it should be in the bounty hunter world, you know? Resource area would be dope with that, you know, fucking yeah. at most places actually be sick, but dude, I was about to mate, I'm literally I'm in the process. I'm gonna copy this link, send it to my missus, and I'm gonna get her to print me off the entire thing at work, and then I'm gonna read it like a script in front of the camera, mate. I'm making a video on this. Cause this is Let me be in it, bro. I'll wear my suit. All right, we'll take them down. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Hell yeah, boys! Listen, yeah, I, think, I think we've got everything. I think I think we've, we've covered everything. Ideas and solutions, you know. 
Mm, yeah, I'm gonna so. go play some Animal Crossing, bitch. Fuck RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, oh, guys, do you have anything else to say? Oh, guys, yeah. Uh, I guess oh, I can no. say it. Um, we've not uploaded now in like three weeks. Two well, weeks. Two I love how we. Dude, it was two weeks as last week. Discussed at the end of the video. Two weeks, bro. Two weeks, bro. Yeah, but the this thing week is, will be it. You know that all of our most loyalist viewers are watching until the very end, or are the people that just have nothing to do and they're stuck inside and they want a podcast. Uh, to listen yeah. to. Corona time for podcast, dude. Listen, boys, we're, we're we pretty much discussed it in the past. We will make a video when there's something worth discussing. If there's a fuckload of content to cover expect a podcast every single week um but yeah i don't know what the next thing is gonna be no um, idea. but like i said we will upload a podcast whenever we see like there's something to cover like i mean listen we're grasping at straws here we were talking about doing a top anime podcast last week okay so mm-hmm. which might still be happening <laughs> no yo, like this podcast of, no no i don't know if it's about, we're about to farm all the dislikes <laughs> but it's just like it's just like maybe a podcast about I don't know, like top animes, anime. mate, mate. Just anime. Top, yeah. Our top ten hen eyes, all of us. We can get together. Fuck it. No, no, Leave some good it. animes to watch in the comments. I need something to watch. <laughs> Dude, Ree Re- Re- doesn't want to do the hen. But my favorite anime is Dude, we can do top ten D hentais. <laughs> what? Dude, the top ten hentais. Have you ever seen that list on YouTube yet? No. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no, bro. No. That'd be sweet. Hell yeah! Mate, okay. We should we should do it, dude. We should just this destroy our you monetization. Want a podcast about anime. The podcast <laughs> about anime. Like the like this video if you want a podcast about anime. 